everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. In today's vlog I'm going to be sharing with you what my summer sewing plans are and also some fabrics that I've recently picked up. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. If you are a new subscriber, hello and welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. And if you're somebody that has been with me for a while, welcome back. So I have got quite a few fabrics to show you today. I don't usually do that many fabric hauls because I don't buy in bulk, but I've just seemed to have picked up quite a few pieces over the last sort of month or so. And I thought I'd pair that up with what I plan to make during the summer. Just because I found that I haven't really been uploading monthly makes. Um, of late, I've just uploaded my spring makes. So if you've not checked that video out, I will link a card up above and that is quite a long one because I did have quite a few makes to show you it was all my makes that I'd made since February so I think what I'll do is um, make what I plan to make during the summer and then bring you a summer makes vlog later on this year and um, so all the fabrics that I've got here I have actually paired up with patterns and that's what I usually do when I buy fabrics I tend to buy them with a pattern in mind already just because I find that if I buy something and I don't know what I want to make with it it just sits in my cupboard for far too long so I like to keep my stash fairly minimal really and um, so before I get started into this video just want to firstly say that what I'm wearing is not a me made it's a dress that was kindly gifted to me by my neighbour it didn't fit her anymore so she handed it down to me and I absolutely love it. It's very similar to the penny dress, actually, but it's not got an elasticated waist. So, yeah, maybe that's a pattern that I'll try out in the future. And there is also something that I wanted to talk to you about. And it's not something that I really feel comfortable um, actually saying, but I'm, I'm just going to do it. Um, I've basically set up a Kofi page, and I'm sure you've heard of what that is. But if you haven't, it's where you can virtually buy me a coffee um, to help support my channel. And... The reason I've done that is because I have noticed of the last, not the last two videos, but a few videos prior to that, um, I had quite a lot of technical issues. And it's basically because I used to film on my phone, which was absolutely fine, and then I bought a new phone, and it just wasn't playing ball at all. So I've now been using my dad's iPhone, not iPhone, iPod, and it's okay, but I have to have it on charge the whole time whilst I'm filming, and again yeah just it doesn't let me do things that I need, I need to do and moving forwards I would like to increase the content that I bring to you and also maybe some tutorials as well because I really enjoy bringing those to you and I know they get really good feedback and um, so yes that's the reason that I have set it up so it's not mandatory you do not have to buy me a virtual coffee whatsoever but the options there if you would like to support my channel um, and it would just help my channel to grow just because then I can bring you a lot more content um, in a better quality as well. So I'm just looking to buy, I don't know, a new camera um, or something that I can basically film a lot better and do my editing a lot better as well. So I'll put the link in the description box below and I'll also pop it across the bottom of the screen for you. And that is that. That's all I'm going to say about it. Oh, I think I'm quite hot. I come across quite hot saying that um yeah i'm not usually somebody who asks for help so anyway moving forwards let's get on with what fabrics i've got then so firstly the one that i will show you here is a cotton fabric and it's a white background with some lovely florals on and i kept seeing this and it was off the flamingo fabrics website and i kept seeing it pop up on my facebook and things like that um, and I kept thinking, oh, you know, should I buy it, should I not? And then in the end I did because I saw somebody else on Instagram had bought it and it just looked really nice. Um, what I will say though is I have washed it. I have found that there is like a crease mark going through some of the flowers. So it hasn't washed all that well. Um, I think it's a quilting cotton or a poplin, but it feels slightly thicker than a poplin actually. So I think it's a quilting cotton. And with this one, I am planning to make the Colette Peony dress, which I have made before. And you've probably seen my Colette Peony dress. It's the strawberry dress. Um, and I'll, I'll put a picture in now for you to see. 
and it just fits me so well. So this is the Colette Peony. I've done mine sleeveless, so I will be doing that again. As you can see, it's got sleeves on this one, and I just don't bother with the belt. It just is a nice sort of fit and flare dress, just complements my silhouette really nicely. So that's the, the first fabric, and I've paired that up with that pattern. And then the next one I have got is actually exactly the same as this one, but just the black colourway. And I just really liked how vibrant those flowers were on that black background. And again, it hasn't washed all that well. Um, a little bit like denim sometimes, you get that fading on it. Um, so hopefully we'll see how it goes after I've made it into a garment. And actually this one did feel very wax printy when I first got it. It had that sort of that wax uh, feel on it and it has come off since washing it, but it is still very crisp. Um, but I don't put any fabric conditioner on it just for fear of it making funny marks on the fabric. Now I haven't got, actually got that one paired up to a pattern as yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with that one. So that's one that I don't know what I'm going to make. Um, but it will definitely be a summer dress for sure. Okay, and then the next fabric I picked up was from Felicity Fabrics, um, of who I blog for. And this is the most gorgeous jersey I have worked with in quite a while. It's this lovely paisley print, and the quality is just second to none. It's just got a lovely amount of stretch in it, and it just is gorgeous. It's opaque, so it's not see-through whatsoever, as it's a white background, as you can see. And the paisley colours, I just really, really liked all those colours in it. And as soon as I saw it, I knew straight away what I wanted to make with it. And so I decided to make a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. And this is the pattern here. So I'm just making the straightforward um, top without the puff sleeves, just straight sleeves and straightforward round neck. Um, and I have actually already made that up. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that photo already. So I will save that photo um, for when I do my summer makes vlog, because that is part of my summer makes. But yes, I can say, definitely say that this fabric was a dream to work with. It sewed up really well. It just, just behaved the whole time. And it was really nice to make the Agnes because I have made it in the past, but I haven't made it for quite a while now. And it was just nice to sew something that I knew was gonna fit me and I didn't even have to try it on throughout the construction process. So that was just really quite, quite nice, you know, a nice, quick, easy project on an evening. So that is that one. And also from Felicity Fabrics, I picked up this lovely denim. And it's like a, I, I don't know, probably not indigo blue, but it's definitely a sort of standard blue denim. Um, and it's a lovely weight, not too, not too heavy, and it's got a nice amount of stretch in it as well. If I get it around the right way. Is it this way? Yeah, you can see it's quite a bit of stretch in that. So with this one, I am planning to make a... What am I planning to make? The Emily Pinafore by Bobbins and Buttons. Now, I also blog for Bobbins and Buttons. Um, Julia is the owner of that company and it's based in Leicester. So we frequently chat on um, FaceTime <laughs> because I do test out quite a few patterns for her as well. Um, so I'm going to bake that into the Emily Pinafore because this particular pinafore fits me straight out of the packet without having to make any alterations to it. Um, as you know, I really love a pinafore dress and I've made several Cleos, but I have had to alter that pattern to fit my hips, whereas the Emily, it's more A-line, so it does fit me really well. So I'm excited to get that one made up. And I planned actually, when I bought this fabric from Felicity Fabrics with this um, one to wear them together, I thought that would really pair well. So the Agnes and the Emily pinafore, that would be a nice summer outfit. So that's what I plan to do. So and I'll, that won't take me that long actually because I've already got the pattern cut out. Next up, I've got this lovely jersey from Material Girl Laura. Um, and I think at the moment she has a summer sale on. I think you can get 20% off the fabrics there. So definitely go and check her website out. Um, and it's this lovely jersey with lovely florals on. I think the background is it's between a white and a cream. Um, and I know on the salvage there is the name of this fabric actually. Field of Flowers, designed for you by Poppy. Yeah, really nice, really, really like that. So with this one, I am planning to make the Sew Over It Georgie dress. 
So this is it here. Sorry, I should really take it out of the packet. Let's get that. There we go. That's a better, better view. Um, and it's got this lovely wrap. And then I think you can have a pleated or a gathered skirt on the bottom um, and obviously have short or long sleeves. So I plan to make that with this lovely fabric. And I'm going to copy both Keely of Voice of the Creative and Angela of Devon Threadtails. They've both made one where they haven't um, lined the bodice because the bodice is actually lined and they've just folded over the front sort of crossover section there and that works really well so I'm definitely going to do that I really don't want to have to faff with lining the bodice and I think it would make it quite warm for the summer so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to copy that and just fold over that that section yeah I'm really looking forward to making that so yes I have washed it I thought have I washed that yes it's washed and ready so just need to get that pattern traced off okay the next up this is also from bobbins and buttons and it's a dashwood rayon and this is absolutely gorgeous just look at those colors so nice it's a navy background uh, with a sort of a tropical sort of print on it i would say um, and i decided to pair this one up with the tilly and the buttons marigold jumpsuit which I had out of a magazine, so it does look slightly different on the cover to what you would usually usually see. Um, yes, and I'm gonna make this version here. So I might straighten out that neckline though. I don't think I'm gonna do the sweetheart neckline, so I'll just straighten that out literally across there. Um, and I'll see about the legs as well. I might make them slightly wider at the bottom. I don't really like a tapered leg. But yes, this is absolutely gorgeous quality. Um, I love rayon. It's a nice fabric to work with, behaves really well, and it's got a nice drape to it as well. So that's that one. And then next up, I have got a lovely jersey fabric. I don't think I've washed this one. No, it smells like it's not been washed yet. Um, and this one I got from So Jessely or So Jessali. Her name's Sophie, the lady who um, runs that website. And of, of course, I'll link everything that I talk about today in the description box for you. And it's got lovely shoes all over it. I really, really like this. It's a lovely sort of pink color on the background with these lovely shoes and stuff. So this one I have seen before, um, a while ago actually, and then I didn't think it was around anymore. So as soon as I saw it on her website, I definitely had to have some. So I bought two meters and for that one, I am going to be making the Colette Manetta. So I have made this one before, so I can just basically make it straight out of the packet. A nice, quick, easy sew, but I do need to get myself some clear elastic, so I'll need to get that ordered. Um, and I'm just gonna make the three quarter length sleeves, I think it is. Yeah, just, I think they come to about elbow length, actually. Um, so that's what I plan to make with that one. And then I bought this massive roll of fleece um, fabric, but this is off eBay. So it was just a one-off purchase off eBay. It wasn't from a shop or anything like that. Somebody was actually just selling this one piece. And I've purchased that to pair with this pattern and it's McCall's M7061, which is like nightwear basically. And I was planning on, I think, making this version here. So it's like a nighty, but I'm not, I'm not going to wear it to bed. I'd be roasting. Um, yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to sort of lounge around the house in that, you know, it's knee length, so you're not gonna be flashing anything. <laughs> um, yeah, and I like the little kangaroo pocket on the front and the hood, just thought it was something quite nice to put on. I mean, you could probably put it on instead of a dressing gown. Yeah, so I think that's good. And do you know what, actually, that'd be quite good for wearing on the beach. If you were cold, you know, on one of those cold days on the beach that you tend to have in Britain. Um, okay, so next fabric I've got is this. I don't know if I've showed you this before, actually. I think this is a quilting cotton, or is it a cotton poplin? I think it's a quilting cotton. Yeah, it's definitely a quilting cotton, and this is from Minerva, and this was gifted in return for a blog post, but this fabric actually came by mistake. I ordered a different one, and this one turned up, and I was really, really lazy, and I never sent it back. So I've been emin and ahhing about what to make with this. I just haven't had any idea. And then I just had a sort of light bulb moment that I thought, right, well, I'm going to make it into a little skirt. And so the skirt that I'm planning to make this into, I'll bring it closer so you can see the print. It's got these lovely little leaves on it. 
Um, and it's a skirt I've actually made before, and it's from Lauren Guthrie's book, Learn to Sew with Lauren. And this was actually one of the first skirts that I ever made. I went to a class of hers at her workshop, above her shop, um, and I made this skirt here, which is called Pick Your Pocket Skirt, because there is another version where you can have inseam pockets, but I like the ones on the front. Um, and I love this added piping detail. So I actually have the skirt that I made, not actually at the workshop, but I made another one when I came home. I went straight into it and it's this one here. It's a really nice A-line skirt. It's got this lovely piping detail around the waist um, and then the pockets there on the front, on both sides, obviously. Um, and then it's just got a normal zip in the back. And I think this time round, I'll be able to get that lined up a lot better than I have done there because I was very new to sewing when I sewed this up. And then on the inside, the um, waistband is double-sided, so it covers any raw edges. And I really enjoyed that make. It's got actually, it's very busy print, you're probably not going to be able to see, but there is um, some pleats on the front there. Yeah, and I really like that skirt. Um, it does still fit me, even though I made it prior to having my twins. Um, but I just find it, it is a little bit too short for my liking, so I'm going to remake it in exactly the same size. I'm just going to lengthen it slightly, probably by about an inch and a half. Um, but yes, that's what I'm planning to make with this fabric. And I thought I could just pair it with um, an Ogden cami and tuck it in, or an Agnes top or something. But I'd like to make a plain one because that is quite busy. So I think it needs to have something plain paired with it. So that is my fabrics that I have actually purchased recently. There are a couple of other summer makes that I plan to make, which some are actually half made. So you would have seen this one before. This is a lovely Lady McElroy viscose fabric. Um, as you can see here, I can't actually remember where I got it from, but I do know that this is still doing the rounds. I think Minerva have it at the moment actually. Um, and this has been cut out into the new look 6446 jumpsuit like for about a year. I'll show you the pattern, sorry. So I've cut out this version exactly the same as my crepe version that you would have seen before. Um, and I've had it sat under my bed, cut out, yeah, for like a year. And the reason I've been put off by making it is because this fabric was so fluid and it just moved all over the place. It was an absolute nightmare cutting it out. And so I was really scared to sew with it. And because my crepe version turned out so well, that was actually my twelve before I was going to cut into this fabric. Um, I ended up just wearing my crepe one all the time. And so this one just got left behind under the bed. But now it's just been sat there staring at me. And I think, you know, my husband's just like, that needs to get out from under, <laughs> under the bed. So I've got it out and I have started sewing it up. But what I have done is actually sprayed the fabric with some spray starch, which my friend gave me. And she just bought it from the pound shop um, prior to lockdown. So I used that and it really, really did help. It helped me to sew the fabric, to pin it together. It's just made using this fabric a lot, lot nicer. Um, but then I started sewing this up without reading the instructions and started lining the bodice, not in the way that it's instructed. So now, because this fabric is quite sheer, you can see through it. Um, I've now got it sort of, I've basted it on and then treated it as one piece, I think, did I? Something like that. So now I need to actually cut those pieces out again for the bodice front and back um, and then line it properly. So it might be quite thick, but we'll see. Yes, um, I don't know if that's gonna alter how different it will look to the, the actual legs of the, of the jumpsuit. I'm not really sure. Um, but yes, the spray starch really did help. So that is going to be made up this summer because it needs to be worn. It needs to be not under the bed anymore. <laughs> it's like my um, silly in the button Zadie dress. I cut that out at the beginning of the year and that's been sat underneath the bed because I'm scared to sew it because of those points on it. But it will get done. It will get done. Um, okay, so next up is some velour fabric from Minerva. Again, in return for a blog post. It is like a navy, navy royalish blue. Um, not coming up very well on camera really sorry um but i was initially going to make the georgie dress out of this by sew over it but i have since changed my mind and the reason being is that i have 
just purchased this new pattern. It's by the Friday Pattern Company and it's the Lucida dress. It's not a very good picture on the front because they've got the writing all over it, but it's basically pulled in around the breast area with um, some ties and then it's an A-line shaped dress. If I bring in the line drawings, you can see it's a fitted waist and then an A-line skirt and I think that will look really nice and I think it's quite a flattering silhouette around this area as well with cap sleeves. I don't know whether I lengthen those slightly because my arms are a bit chubby at the top but um, yeah that's what I'm going to pair that velour with then for this pattern so I think that will work really well and I've read the instructions actually and um, it did make me laugh actually. <laughs> It's really good pattern instructions when you when you read through it. Um, really, really easy to follow. And I just I always do that when I get a pattern. I read through the whole of the instructions before I even start sewing it, so I have a basic idea of what I'm what I'm getting myself into. Um, I think it's this pattern. It made me laugh in here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, maybe it wasn't this pattern. Yes, it was. Um, it's a, let's get some sleeves on this baby. I just thought that was hilarious. Um, and the pattern pieces, I don't know if you've used Friday Pattern Company before, but they're really clear. So to trace off, that would be really easy to follow the lines because I find a lot of patterns, especially obviously tissue patterns, it's very difficult to follow the lines with tracing paper. Well, I actually use baking paper from Co-op. It works really well. It's really sort of see-through, so yeah. Um, okay, then next, what is next? Ah, uh, yes, my indigo dress. I've had this cut out for so long as well, it's just been sat in my sewing bag. And I am making the Tilling the Buttons indigo dress, this version. I'm gonna be making the dress with the, um, the ruffle around the waist, and I'm just gonna have straight sleeves, just to keep it a little bit simple. And the fabric I'm using for that is this lovely crepe, which was from John Lewis. This I bought a long, long time ago, so they probably won't have it anymore. It's a navy background with these sort of corally flowers on. I've got it around the right way. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And I've had it screwed up in my sewing bag and it doesn't crease whatsoever. It's just really nice. And I think the, the drape of that will really work well with the indigo um, and just a nice lightweight dress for the summer. So that one I really need to get done. Another one that I need to get done. I have these work in progresses. I don't like them sat there. So I need to get those sorted. Um, and then another work in progress that I've got, I want to find the pieces, it's already cut out. Um, and it is the Nina Lee Camden Pinnacle. So I've made the skirt, as you saw in my last vlog. Oh dear, sorry, let's take that out. Uh, okay, here we go, better. So you can see this lovely pinnacle here. It is fully lined, so I will probably go ahead and line it. I've got all the outer bits cut out, ready to go. I just need to get some lining. So I will do that and get it sorted because this is another Minerva make. So the outer fabric is this lovely wine denim. And again, this has got quite a, a bit of stretch in it. Um, it was sent to me in error actually by Minerva. I didn't actually order any fabric at the time. It just turned up and I emailed them and said, I don't think this is my fabric. And they said, oh, I'll just send it back then, you know. And I said, well, I could keep it and make something out of it if, if you want. They said, well, yes, if you're willing to do so. So I was like, yes, definitely. So I love that colour. I think that looked really, really nice. I think I did initially have this set up to sew into the Ivy Pinnacle by Jennifer Lauren Handmade, but I've changed my mind or I got mixed up with which pinnacle I was supposed to be sewing up and I've done the, um, yeah, cut it into the Camden. So that's that one. Okay, um, I think that's everything. Let me just check my list here. Um, Oh yes, I actually did order some more fabric from Felicity Fabrics. Uh, they had a sale, which I think is still on at the moment, so go check that out. Um, yes, I ordered some fabric from them and it's a lovely embroidered denim. Now I haven't got it here to show you because it's on its way. Um, and it's basically an indigo denim color way and it's got these lovely embroidered flowers on it, which are, are sort of, I think they're pinky kind of red flowers. I'm not really sure what the flowers are. Um, and I've ordered that to make the sew over it Lulu dress up. Now this was a pattern that she released quite a while ago now. So I'll insert a picture because I've got it on PDF. And the denim that I've ordered is actually only four ounces in weight. So I think it will be 
quite a nice drape for that particular dress. Um, so I'm looking forward to receiving that. Um, I think I also have ordered from them, there was a remnant piece of some, I think it's chaffinch gold fabric. Um, I can't remember, is it Lady McAroy chaffinch? Chaffinch bow, actually, I think that's right. Um, and it's a lovely mustard colour um, with some chaffinches on, I think, something like that. Um, so I'm waiting for that to arrive and that will definitely probably be an Ogden cami, yeah, um, for that one. So I think that's all my fabrics. So I've got quite a treat now to share with you. Um, I'm going to do an unboxing. And I'll firstly just tell you quite a funny little story before I go into it. But yesterday the postman arrived with two boxes and my eldest son, he opened the door and shouted, Mum, you've got some deliveries, more fabric. <laughs> this is what I get in my house. Um, and uh, I was, uh, you know, I grabbed the, the boxes off the postman and then just took them upstairs and popped them into my cupboard because I thought I'd do an unboxing as part of this fabric haul, basically. And with uh, being a Felicity Fabrics blogger, we've got a WhatsApp group between us, the rest of the bloggers as well. And it's really nice, you know, we have various chats on there, not just about sewing, about anything and everything. Um, and it's a really nice group to be part of. And uh, I actually popped on there, oh, my, my fabric's arrived. I'm going to save it to, to put it on, on my fabric haul video that I'm planning to film. And then Tamlin from Sewing on the Time, she said, um, are you sure that's fabric, Karen? And I thought, well, I haven't ordered anything else. So I ran upstairs and gave the box a shake. And I thought, well, no, it's not fabric. And uh, she said, yeah, I think it's actually a gift for you. So I was like, oh, I don't think I can wait to open this on the video. I need to do it now. And everybody said, yes, do it now, do it now. So that's what I did. I promptly opened the box and I was just, <laughs> just taken aback. Inside was just the most scrumptious selection of pick and mix chocolates. And underneath that um, was a little cardboard layer and it was a big slice of cake. It got so many layers in with this cream and stuff. It was just absolutely divine. And it's because it's Felicity Fabrics one year anniversary since they've been trading. So they sent out us bloggers, you know, a blogger team, um, a nice little gift to say thank you. And it had a nice personalized card in there. Um, and I was just taken aback and just totally overwhelmed. And I was just so excited. And I was like, ah, this is so amazing. You know, I thank them greatly um, and then promptly my boys heard the rustling of the wrappers and then they came down and it was like a game of hungry hippos was going on in front of me so it all got devoured within one go <laughs> um, but it was so nice to receive that as a, a lovely treat and of course they said oh sorry you, you thought it was your fabric We're really sorry we haven't got that out to you yet and I was like oh no it's absolutely fine I wasn't actually expecting it to be that quick anyway I'd only just ordered it so yes they have got that sale on still for their one year anniversary so go check out their website so the other box that uh, was delivered to me was my Guthrie and Garney Sewing Society kit. So I've not actually had one, like I said, before from them. So I've got it here and I thought I would do an unboxing in front of you. So let me find my scissors and we're going to open this. I haven't opened it for the whole two days I've had it. So I'm just going to put my scissors through the label. Oh no, there's more sticky tape. Hold on. Let's open that as well. Oh, this is exciting. I thought I'd treat myself. It's my birthday this month. So, yeah, little treat. Okay, so here we are. So there's my invoice. And then inside, I'll show you. Here's the box. So we have, you can see a little sneak peek of the fabric there. Um, I'm gonna open this first of all. Inside we have some matching thread and some nice sharp needles. So they're just your, your standard needles, um, but I definitely could do with some more of those, definitely. Okay, and they are actually in a size 70, so they are slightly finer, and that would be because of this fabric. So then the pattern, is the Friday Pattern Company Wild Again. That's what I'm, how I'm going to say it. And initially I was never really taken with this pattern, but then I started seeing obviously all these versions pop up on Instagram and on social media. And I thought, actually, I do really like that. Um, and I probably will make the knee length version that there is on the back here. I don't think the long one would really suit me. I think knee length is probably more my style. Um, and as soon as I saw the fabric that Guthrie and Garney were putting with this, Oh, it's just so dreamy. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a viscose 
um, but it feels like it's going to be fine to work with. Um, I just absolutely love the colour of these flowers, daisies, I suppose you could call those, on a black background. Um, and you get four metres uh, provided with this kit, so more than enough, I would think. Yeah, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Mm. So that will be going in the wash imminently. Um, and then just inside is a nice little postcard, make to measure. So that was my little treat to myself and I thought I'd just share that with you um, as I've not ordered one of those kits before so that was quite exciting to receive that and I just absolutely love that fabric. I think it looked great as that, uh, as that pattern. Obviously they have made it in that fabric on their website. You can see um, one of their members of staff have made it. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So that is basically my fabric haul then that I've um, recently got. So there's not loads, but oh yeah, actually just one more thing. Um, I don't know if you remember, but a while ago I showed you this dress that I got from the charity shop, which is very similar to the wild again at the top here. Um, and I tried it on for you and it's got long sort of sleeves with an elasticated cuff, um, which go down to sort of bracelet length. Um, and then the rest of it is just like a, an A-line sack, basically, which just looks so unflattering on me. So what I thought I would do would be to use this pattern to alter that as my charity upcycle that I wanted to bring to you. And I haven't done it because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. So I definitely need to make the waist a lot smaller. So I thought I'd definitely, you know, I think I could definitely use this, this pattern for it. So I'm going to cut it off and then use the rest of the pattern to make that and it'd probably be the knee length version again so I just thought I'd just def definitely get my money's worth out of this and um, yeah so excited to make changes to that dress and bring that to you hopefully very soon and um, yeah so that is everything for today thank you very much for joining me I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen please do consider um, subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you very soon for um, my next vlog which will be um, the pattern review of the Tilling the Buttons Rosa shirt dress that I made recently for the Bobbins and Buttons blog. Um, again, I'll link that blog in the description box below if you'd like to check that out. And then I'll also have um, another pattern review coming to you very shortly for my Felicity Fabrics blog, which um, should be uploaded very soon. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.